This is Mustang Post Game. And we welcome you to the post game show. And a tough one for the Mustangs. They lose it to Arkansas Pine Bluff, 78 76, the final score today. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is a tough one uh, for the Mustangs. We're joined courtside by the head coach of the SMU Mustangs, Toy L. Wilson. And uh, what do you say about, a, about this game? That was, that was rough. Yeah, I mean, I think, can you hear me? Can you yeah, hear me? There we go. I think, you know, our, our start, it was our start, you know. We didn't start hard. We didn't play hard. Uh, we didn't get key stops. I think when we had it on the edge of one point, two points, we weren't able to get over the hump. And we did a little, one, I think by one or two points, I don't know what our lead change was, was but I know we got up. Um, for a little bit here and, and, and got close and, and you know we didn't have that enough um to, to put it over but again I think it's we, we need more than one person more than T Young to show up I think Shantae had a good game shooting um, but we put them in a position to be successful Jai had that wide open jumper and Tay had the put back you know so we put them in a situation to be successful points in the paint today were a big difference uh, uh, they out, uh, out Pine Bluff 40 to 28 that uh, that, that was tough yeah, I mean, we, we fouled them. They went to the free throw line 24 times, you know. Um, but we let them get down here. Our rotations, you know, I just think we got to get tougher um, and more physical. All right, you've got now the the finals break. No games again until the 14th. And then you've got a tough one at Louisiana Tech. And I know we talked about the break in the pregame show. But what what can you try to emphasize to to get ready for that ball game? I mean, I think, you know, Pine Bluff played a really hard game. They had a hard schedule. You know, they played Oregon, Oregon State. Um, but I think our girls got to do some, like, self-checks, you know what I mean? Um, because we're putting them in position to be successful. But we got to have, I mean, you know, Mira plays 21 minutes. And um, she had a great, I think she had an okay, good game. And um, T. Young, again, she's our consistency, you know. And Shantae, I think, came in and had 17. But we needed one other person. T.K. is going to do what she does, had seven points and 10 rebounds, you know, but we need somebody else that can come in. I thought to me it just had an off night that we really, really rely on her for her defense and some bring some offense, and she didn't bring any of that today. I just felt she was off. Um, she kept saying the whole time she felt like she was going to throw up, so that's not an excuse, though, to, 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 to fail your team. You know, do other things, um, but she played a lot of minutes. Um, it wasn't feeling her best, but we got to come out there and do some self-checks the next 10 days, we got to get better. You know, Reagan Bradley, I, I just thought about that. Reagan Bradley had the three offensive fouls, very uncharacteristic. Yeah. And, and and there were a couple of other, I think, uh, I think Tierra had a charge in, in, in the ballgame. Very uncharacteristic uh, of the Mustangs. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think they rattled their, their physicalness, rattled Reagan a little bit. And this is where you miss um, Ella because Reagan's your only ball handler. And so um, she's, real, she's doing a lot and she's guarding and she's, tired you know and so this is where you miss Ella all right coach uh, as always we thank you for visiting with us and uh, we'll see you again uh, in 10 days when we uh, go to Louisiana Tech yes I appreciate it thank you that is head coach Toya Wilson of the SMU Mustangs this is Mustang basketball from Learfield